I try and look at my whole person, you know, the brain, the body, all the things that everybody's meant to do, whether they've got MS or not. But when you've got something like MS, it's very much brought to the front because if you don't look after yourself, then you will be the one who pays the price. Listen to your body. Your body knows best, so don't try to push it. Uh, just listen to your body and uh, don't let your pride get in your way. Keeping a journal about how you're feeling, not just physically but emotionally as well, I think is a good thing. People that um, perhaps keep a journal, keep a diary, um, it, it can help. I have only got so much energy each day and it's how I use that energy so organisational skills do come into that prioritising things have I got to do this today can I put it off to tomorrow can I get my son to do it instead or does it really even need doing at all my house isn't as clean and tidy as it used to be um, but if I run around and wear myself ragged doing something then I might be ill the next day and not have energy to do something else that I want to do um, so it's made me prioritise things. It's quite easy to think, well, you should be doing the washing up, you should be doing um, you know, the chores, whatever it might be. Um, but I think it's just allowing yourself to, to have the time. Actually, if, you, if you're tired, it, it can wait. You have to have that self-discipline. And if you do that, then you can do many things. You can't perhaps do everything you did in the past, but you can do a lot. Yeah, just, just listen to what your body's telling you, really.